According to Christina Applegate, MS symptoms began six or seven years prior to diagnosis. I did not pay attention. Christina Applegate opened up about her rage and anguish while coping with multiple sclerosis, a degenerative neurological disease, in a recent interview. On March 13, the actor spoke with ABC News Robin Roberts. I'm never going to wake up thinking, this is awesome. I'm just going to tell you that it's not going to happen, Applegate stated. Every time I wake up, I am reminded of that, so it will never happen, but I might get to a point where I can operate a little better. Applegate, 52, expressed her preference for staying at home and dealing with a mess in privacy. That's how I'm dealing with it, by not going anywhere, she explained, because I do not want to do it. It is challenging. Multiple sclerosis is a condition in which the immune system attacks the central nervous system, resulting in communication issues between the brain and the rest of the body. Symptoms include muscle weakness, difficulty with coordination, including walking and standing, weariness, muscle spasms, stiffness, speech difficulties, tremors, and others. Applegate's symptoms began in 2021, when she was filming the final season of Netflix's Dead to Me. She announced her diagnosis on X, formerly Twitter, later that year. My symptoms had started in the early part of 2021, and it was literally just tingling on my toes, according to Applegate. And by the time we began shooting in the summer of that year, I was being transported to the set in a wheelchair. Like, I can't walk that far. When Applegate confided in Selma Blair about her walking troubles, Blair encouraged her to get evaluated for MS. Blair was diagnosed with the condition in 2018. She says, you need to get checked for MS, and I say, no. I said, really, what are the odds? We are both from the same movie, come on, that does not happen, Applegate recalled. No, if it hadn't been for her, it may have been much worse. Multiple sclerosis is a condition in which the immune system attacks the central nervous system, resulting in communication issues between the brain and the rest of the body. Symptoms include muscle weakness, difficulty with coordination, including walking and standing, stiffness, muscle spasms, weariness, speech difficulties, tremors, and others. In an interview with the New York Times in November 2022, Applegate described some of her early symptoms as losing balance, not playing as well at tennis, and feeling numb and tingly. The majority of people's symptoms appear between the ages of 20 and 40, and the condition is three times more common in women than males, according to the National Institutes of Health and the nonprofit National Multiple Sclerosis Society. They call it the invisible disease. It can be extremely lonely because it is difficult to explain to others, Applegate told Roberts. I'm in excruciating pain, but I'm just used to it now. Applegate told Roberts that she suspected she had been having symptoms for up to seven years before being diagnosed, since her legs would give out from underneath her while filming the first season of Dead to Me. I really just kind of put it off as being tired, or I'm dehydrated, or it's the weather, she added, and then nothing would happen for, like, months, and I didn't pay attention. For the interview, Applegate sat next to Jamie Lynn Sigler, who publicly announced her MS diagnosis in 2016. According to Sigler, the two will create a podcast called Me SSY, in which listeners will feel as if they are eavesdropping on their private chats. That's all it is, and to me, those are my favorite podcasts, where you feel like you just got to somehow listen in on a conversation with people, he remarked. There's no format, no agenda, no planned questions, and it's disorganized. It's definitely a mess. Applegate recognized Sigler as one of the persons who helps her cope with MS. She keeps me going because I've been flipping the bird all day about this stuff and I'm angry. I'm really, really pissed, Applegate remarked. She's like, okay, I got you, and you're going to be fine. Like you're going to be fine. And if it weren't for her, I honestly have no idea. Applegate went on to say that she plans to open up on the podcast in ways she has never done before. I've been playing a character called Christina for 40 years, who I wanted everybody to think I was because it's easier, she went on to say. But this is kind of like my coming out celebration. Like, this is the person I've always been. I was kind of putting on a little act for everybody for so long because I just thought that was easier. Be light, be funny, don't make people uncomfortable, she went on to say. And I don't care anymore. Applegate has already discussed how she is coping with her illness. When she received her star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame, she attended the event barefoot. She said on social media that MS can make shoes uncomfortable and cause her to lose balance. It was the first time she'd appeared in public since her diagnosis. When she appeared on The Kelly Clarkson Show in December 2022, she utilized her customary humor to describe her new normal. My comedy shield keeps me safe. Of course, you can sense things on the inside. I do it to deflect and make people feel safe around me, she explained. When people see me now as a disabled person, I want them to feel comfortable that we can laugh about it.